love you so much. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Victoria! Is that a doll? Hi guys, so she's here. They're getting the x-ray ready. They're gonna try to do it with her awake and they're gonna be doing the blood work. So far she looks really good. He's actually impressed with what's going on with her stomach and just her overall condition. So just depends what this x-ray shows and the blood work. And right now we don't have a clue what we're gonna do, but um, hopefully we will know soon. So what her veterinarian is hoping what's going to happen is he puts her under anesthesia for a little bit and he's going to go up with a scope and remove the eggshell. I'm now with Victoria, she is um, not having the best day right now. You okay, Victoria? She's um really just tired right now and um, just I'm watching her carefully um, she still has not passed the eggshell I'm not sure what's in store for us but I think it's we're gonna have to get that egg out or the eggshell because it has not come out yet and um, And I, I'm just really thankful for everybody who has donated or everybody who has shared and just all your support. And it means so much to me. It means so much to her. And um, I think we're gonna probably end up using every bit of it. I didn't wanna have to do surgery. Um, but if the shell doesn't come out, I, I, I just don't know. By tomorrow, if she is healthy enough to survive the surgery, we're waiting on um, the results of the blood work for the liver. If the blood work comes back and the liver has been damaged and her doctor feels she will not survive the surgery, then we're not going to do it. And she is given maybe a year to two years to live we're gonna get through this so that is the update the shell's still inside and as long as the blood work comes out comes back to where we want it she will be going into surgery on tuesday here she is she's about to go in and she's a little nervous just met who's going to be doing her anesthesia. Actually, I've already met her. She's going to do a really good job. I can't really talk right now. I don't know what I'm saying. But first, they're going to do blood work and an ultrasound to make sure she's cleared and healthy and not anemic um, for the surgery. If she's anemic, they're going to cancel the surgery. So hopefully, um, she's going to pass. Then she's going to go in for her surgery. They're going to put a tube down her throat.
okay, she's cleared for surgery. She's been given a shot. She's falling asleep. She's been given a shot so she can relax. And, um, she's going in. It's gonna happen now, so. She's gonna be with me probably for about another seven minutes and then she's gonna go in. So, she's relaxing. Such a good girl. It's gonna be okay. Such a good girl. Such a good girl. Okay, I'm gonna go and I will update you. Has a, I'm updated. That she's cleared for surgery. She'll be going in in seven minutes. Pray for her, you guys. Pray for her. Thank you for praying for her. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Woo, look at you. You're so cute. <laughs> 